Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply fractions using comparative numbers. Now, when you think about the definition of comparative numbers, it really doesn't have to be a fraction, but if you're going to multiply fractions with comparative numbers, then you have to assume that the terms themselves are fractions. So here's an illustration as to what we mean by this. So if you come across a problem that says, what percent of three-fifths is one-fourth? Now, the number after the word is, that's your comparative number. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to set it up as an equation to go from there. Now, what percent, we don't really know. So what percent, let's just call it P for percent, of three-fifths. This means you have to multiply. So P times three-fifths, okay, is, that's another way of saying equal sign, that's going to be one-quarter. Okay. Now, where you want to go from there is you want to solve for p. So you will just to get p by itself, you have to divide both sides by three fifths. So the three fifths cancel, so you have p is equal to. Now we have one fourth divided by three fifths. So when you're dividing by three fifths, you really have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is five thirds. So this is one fourth times five thirds, and you multiply across, there's nothing to reduce, so you multiply the 1 and the 5, which is 5, and the 4 over 3, which is going to be 12. So p is equal to 5 over 12. So basically, what we're saying at the very end here is 1 fourth is 5 twelfths of 3 fifths. So that's a brief lesson on how to multiply fractions using comparative numbers. I'm Jimmy Chang.